Hey, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to click on the button that looks like a little bell so you can receive notifications every time we post new videos on the YouTube channel. We help you, we help the community, and let's spread the arts to everyone. Us. All right, so we're gonna start here, okay, on the one leg X. It's a very common uh, situation, very common position. So what you're gonna do here, uh, we're not gonna give access to the opponent to come to grab the leg, okay? I'm gonna keep this leg far, right? So I'll turn like this, using my shin against uh, his belly, right? So now I'm gonna reach his uh, sleeve and I'll break this, this grip right here, okay? So once I break the grip, now I need to be worried about not letting my opponent uh, control my leg, okay? Like this, so I keep here, right? So every time you try to reach, I'll fight with this hand to control his hand, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pass uh, this arm to the other side of his, of his leg, okay, right here. Okay, so I'm here, I'll do like this. I'll go here. You see that, I put my forearm here on this side, okay? Because I want to smash my opponent this way, okay? So I'm not gonna take his leg out of my leg, okay? I'm not gonna do this. So keep his leg between your legs, right? He's still like trying to work to fight with this hand and he's still trying to open the knee this way. So with this, with my hand, my free hand, I'll control his butt and I'll lift his butt like this, okay? And I put my knee under his butt right here. Now he can grab my leg, try to grab my leg here. He can grab my leg, but it's not gonna be enough for him to turn and sweep me that way, okay? I'll take advantage of having my leg free so I stretch this leg here. You see that my foot was close to his belly? So now I go like this. And then I start smashing his legs, okay? So once I smash the leg here, I'll go for the side smash, I'll underhook his arm. Okay, underhook his arm here. Once I underhook, I grab four fingers inside his collar, okay? Put my head on the side, and then now I'll bring his leg forward, okay, using my knee behind both legs, okay? I'm not gonna be only on top of the top leg. So I want to get both legs here, okay? So I'm still holding his arm, you see? So I prevent him from uh, doing frames here, trying to do frames on me. So he's trying to do frames, especially with this hand. Okay, I'll keep blocking him. So now after I do this, I'll go heavy, I'll hug his head. Okay, grab his head, bring my opponent towards me here, okay? And his knee against his butt. Okay, more I do this, more pressure I have. Having my hip flexor against his uh, hips right here, okay? So now I'll just control. He's gonna try to move. I'll keep pinching my knee forward here. It's very important to fold your opponent. Some people call it the folding pass, some people call it side smash. That's actually both, because you side smash and also you gotta fold the opponent. If my opponent stretches his body like this, he's gonna be strong and he can bring his knee to his chest and start like recovering the guard, okay? So you, you need to bring his chest towards his thigh and his thigh towards his chest, like this, okay? Once I get here, I'm gonna work to pass his guard. We all know, we all learn to staple the leg and start running to the back, okay? But usually the opponent, he's very uh, aware of that, okay? So after uh, you're doing that so much, he's gonna start like blocking this leg here. Okay, it's not allowing you to go to the other side. So what I do, I will step over uh, with this leg here. I'm gonna stretch and put my weight, I extend my leg and put my weight on my hip flexor here. Pass over both, both legs. Once I go with my butt almost touching the floor, I'll sweep his leg here with my hips and I put my hip flexor against his hip flexor, getting the knee leg drag as I call, okay? Staying with my leg really close to his hips. Every time he's trying to escape the hips, I keep really close to his hips. Now my shoulder start putting pressure against his face and I'll bring this arm here, okay, over my left. And I'll stay in a nice side control, okay? Again, so now he's gonna, he's gonna get a, a one leg X, okay? So make sure your foot is really close to his, to his body here, 
Don't stay with the foot like this at first because he can underhook the leg. But then you're not gonna be able to work on that, okay? So make sure your foot is closed here. You pinch your knee and stay like sideways, putting your weight over his belly here, okay? And have your leg to give you balance, okay? You're gonna break his rib here, okay? So now he's fighting to reach to your, to your pants on the other side. Here, you block him, okay? I can't control like this, I can't grab like this. I like to grab the wrist because it's harder for him to move. Now really quick, look, I will smash with my forearm and then I put my other forearm over, okay, like this. This is a very strong grip. Try to open your leg though. He's gonna try to, to shift this way here. You can use your hand on the floor here, but your goal is to bring your, your, your hand, your forearm right between his butt here, the middle of his butt, four fingers inside his pants, and have your forearm on top of your leg here, your knee touching his butt. And now you start extending your left leg, the leg that's between his legs, and start getting the side to match here. He flex her against him, okay? Hug his head, bring his chest against his thigh, and his thigh against his chest with your legs. Tip toes on the mat so you have grips on the mat, okay? He's gonna start to grab my leg or try to frame, try to frame here too, my neck. Like this, okay? Instead of running to his back, you're gonna put the weight on your hip flexor. Extend your leg and pass the guard. And then go back. Okay? He's gonna escape the hips. I, I put a lot of weight and pressure on my, on my elbow here. Try to escape the hips. I keep here. Now shoulder pressure. Make sure his arm's on top of your lap and then you establish the side control, okay? Step one, here, okay? Stay low here, okay? Now step two, you do this. Now you grab and start ex extend your leg here, get the side smash. See, then I get the, the karate chop here, right? Under his arm, okay? and. Grab four fingers inside his collar here. Bring his leg forward. Now I hug him. Bring his chest towards his thigh and his thigh towards his chest. Don't be sliding with me. I'll pass. Okay. Just hop over, okay? The goal when you pass is to land with your hip flexor really close to his hips so there's no space for him to recover the guard. Okay? You guys have any questions? Please? Questions? Yeah. Yes? So, that's the step one here. Keep my leg closed. He's gonna try to underhook my leg here. Don't let him underhook, so control this arm here. Okay? I'm here. That's the first thing I do. He's gonna try to reach my leg. Control his, his grip. Now, I'll deliver his leg uh, towards my other forearm here. Okay, now I start extending my leg and I start putting pressure on him. Give him no space. Hug him, pressure. Now look, I extend my leg, pass over both knees, and then make sure my thighs, my thighs in the front of their thigh, okay, of his thigh, and then pass his guard. Okay. Okay. Question? No? All right, so let's work on that. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. You're gonna get a one leg X, okay? I'm looking for grabbing this hand. So if his foot is on the way, like pushing me too far from his hand, right here, I need to take the foot out and I'll reach here for sure. He's gonna try to put the foot back there. Exactly. Okay, it's okay after you grab this sleeve. It's okay. All right. So it's very, very important to have a really strong grip here. Okay. So you don't want to lose this grip because as the time that I start uh, turning to the side, when I lowered my my arm on top of his knee, when I start turning him here and I start opening my leg, if I let go of this sleeve, he's gonna underhook my leg. Okay. And then it's gonna be hard for me to to keep passing that way. So it's very important to grab. When I grab, I hold like this, 
facing my hand up like that, okay? So I don't turn my hand like this, okay? I always face my hand up, and then I have the arm like this, so now there's no way he can grab it there. Also, don't let him grab your collar, okay? Make sure you're keeping the distance where he cannot hold your collar, okay? This is very important. You're not doing the elbow here, okay? It's your forearm, okay, like this. So when you guys, when you guys uh, get on this position here and I hug my opponent, I keep my head on this side. I don't need to go this way here. I go with my head on this side if I'm grabbing his collar or if I'm, if I'm gonna go double unders like this. But if I grab his head, okay, it's very important to think about bringing my triceps towards my inner thigh. So when I grab him here, I go like this. To put a lot of pressure, see my, my, my uh, triceps is really close to my inner thigh here, okay? Because if I keep like this, it's gonna feel comfortable, it's not gonna feel much pressure, okay? So my hip flexor is gonna be right here, not here. So I'm not gonna put my hip flexor here, that way he's gonna turn back, okay? So I need to smash him, okay? I need to put inside it, so I gotta go with my, my hip flexor closer to his knee, okay? Right here. Now when I hug, don't just like try to, to twist him like that. So bring him to you. And what I do here too, I, I bring my hand really close towards the floor and the back, okay? So I don't grab with my hand here on the shoulder. So I go here, okay? So I feel like I have way more weight on him right now. It's harder for him to move as well with the back on the floor. Okay, I want to keep my opponent sideways, all right? So right now when you get on this position here, okay? I want you to get here and ask your friend to move, okay? So he's gonna try to escape and you're gonna stay here. We're gonna drill, uh, live drilling here, okay? So you're gonna stay here, each person you do until you pass the guard or the opponent to recover the guard, okay? So go down, so I go here. Okay, you see that? When he start moving, I put my knee between his legs, okay? That can happen, but do not uh, lose the control of his smash him here, okay? And when you do that as well, here, uh, he's gonna try to turtle like this, okay? Don't let your opponent like turtle because then he's gonna start scramble. So make sure you keep this side of his hips on the floor every time you try to turtle. Like here, I keep my weight Where's his hips, so I keep his hips on the floor. That's a, a very good detail to not let flexible guys turn upside down and start like rolling, okay? Because if you turn upside down here, he's gonna start rolling like this, and he's gonna start putting on 50-50 recovering the guard. Keep him sideways the whole time, okay? So we're gonna drill, normal in the beginning, okay? I'll control, if the foot is on the way, I'll take the off, grab, Control here, okay. Start move to the side, side smash. Pull him, grab, pull him. When I get here, okay, go. And then I start just control. So just so you can have this squeeze, you gotta understand that your knee needs to go closer to his knee. More I fold my opponent, better for me, okay. More my opponent extend his body, better for him, and I start losing the control. When you start extending the body. In the case like he's stronger than me, so I extend him to your body. I take his advantage, and that's when I run to the back, okay? But if, he's, if you have the control of keeping folding, uh, folding your opponent, uh, it's gonna be better for you to just pass to the same side instead of trying to go to the back. Because when you're folding your opponent here, okay, now he's gonna be able to get the little hook, the baby hook right there and then I cannot go to his back. So I need to use the staples to run to the back. But I feel when he, do, when he does the baby hook like this, it's easier for me to just move this way here, okay? It's very surprising too, because everyone thinks that you're gonna go to the back. Okay, I like to pass to this side. Sometimes I go straight to mount, okay? Another thing that I do here too, just to keep in mind, is like sometimes I get here, I fold my opponent, and my opponent underhook my leg. I love when they do this. Yeah, I just go straight to mount. And I mount super high like this. So now I can pull his head, and I start, 
applying like a beautiful triangle. You can lock the triangle from here, or you can roll forward to lock the triangle. This way, go back up. Or you can, you can lay down here this way and lock the triangle here. But I like to lock when I'm on top, because I lock here and then it's super hard for him to escape, so I can go arm bar, I can wrist lock him, I don't lose the control. Sometimes when you roll and you end up on bottom, you give options to your opponent to step over with the legs, you know, and try to escape, especially in a tight triangle like that. Okay, so get the position, control, and once you get a good control, you fold, you make sure your opponent is like this, your partner is like this, fold, okay? And don't let he extend. Actually, the, the goal for the person on bottom is try to extend your body like this because I want you to understand that it's very important to keep your opponent like this. More you fold, more pressure, it's harder to escape too, okay? And if you keep your weight so much on your knee, rather than your, your hips, he's gonna escape easier too. So make sure the side of your knee is on the floor and you move forward like this. And you always keep both legs between your legs. You're never doing this and have both legs this side. So you always between, like always keep his legs between your legs, okay? When you link the hands like this, it's so easy to pass. It's, it's great, okay? All right, let's work on that. One, two, three. I'm on the side smash here, okay? Let's say if I wanna make a transition straight to mount, okay? And I'm here. I'm not gonna mount on my opponent if he's framing my leg. If this leg is on the way here, like framing here, I'm not gonna mount, okay? So I can't mount here. Dom will have that frame, okay? To mount is only if you underhook my, my leg. If you underhook, then I mount. Then I go to mount, okay? If it doesn't underhook and I want to mount and he's framing there, what I need to do, I need to change here. I need to let go of my grip, control four fingers inside with the hand that's under his back. And now I go underhook here. So I open his elbow and I place my knee under his armpit. Now I can go to mount, okay? So if he's framing, don't go to mount. If the dom is, is framing this arm on my neck here, and then he's framing the other arm on my leg, I can't go to mount because of this arm. But at the moment that he underhooked my leg here, great, then I go to mount and I, I go for this arm here, okay? If he's framing here and I pass, I need to know that I need to deal with that frame. Because that frame can give him a, a a good escape, okay? He can build uh, space using the frame, okay? So I gotta know that if I come out, he's framing both sides and I start going this way, I will beat this frame here, but not on the neck, okay? And then after I pass, you can keep framing them. After I pass, then I mount and I go to this arm. Because I don't wanna mount and keep like getting choked here. I just, do the ass mouth and then I start attacking his arm. Or he's gonna bridge and then attack his back, right? So again, very important, okay? If he's framing both sides, this is the most important, okay? Because uh, if, I, if I decide to mount, I'll get seven points, right? In a tournament, usually. Uh, and if you have the frame, even if I beat him up here already, I have this. And if I try to go to mount, frame him. He's gonna frame him. He's gonna. I end up like on top of his legs. That's why I like frame him with both. If you frame with both here, I like to do this. Because now this frame won't matter. Just this one here. Okay, keep framing him. Okay, now open his arm. Slide in your mount and advance my knee towards his head. Start getting the S mount. So now I'm ready to attack the arm. Okay. If you block the arm, block the arm. Go. He block the arm. Control the top arm. And I go to the other side. I attack the arm that's on top. Okay. So make sure when you are on the side smash and the opponent is framing the leg. Okay. Don't go to mount. Pass the guard. If you go to the back. Okay, like here, 
That's a great option too. I go to the back here, I can staple, run to his back, but I gotta make sure that I keep his shoulder on the mat. Try to sit up though, okay? If you sit up like this, then I'll have problem. Then I need to run to his back. I need to shrug and start taking his back, okay? Don't try to insist there. So when I pass, I want his hips and his shoulder on the mat, no matter what, okay? If you keep hips and shoulder off your opponent all the time when you're passing, he can't do anything. But if you give this, you know you gotta make transitions. If you do this, you know you gotta make transitions. Another tip when you're here, so let's say I staple just the top leg and I don't have the bottom leg, so that will give you an option to turtle. Don't start turtle, I hide my leg, turtle zone. Hide my leg here. See? Try to put on guard right now. Okay? Even if you roll the other way, face outside, roll. Here, I'm always on the leg drag. I don't have my foot between his legs. Sometimes when people get here, and the person turtle, turtle, they keep the leg here. And then what happens when, roll, uh, when Dom rolls like this, I'll be always with one leg between his legs. So it's very important, as soon as you roll, you hide your leg. Okay, roll them, try to recover. Now I'm, I'm on leg drag, I still attack him. Here, okay, I'm still moving, all right? So the key is to not give uh, the leg to your opponent at all. All right, so those are the tips I want you guys to start the, the fight right now on that, that position, and then we go from there, all right? Side smash, you start, you drill, you got the side smash, and then go, if the person escape, keep going. If you pass, keep going. That can be your only opportunity to, to smash your, your opponent or to pass the guard, okay? So don't lose that opportunity. All right, so you guys have any other question? No, yeah? I don't worry about the foot because I want him to go that way, you know? So it's just when I go to grab, if I, if I have a hard time to grab, then I need to deal with the, with the hook. But I can grab the other arm too. The only thing I need to do something different. Let's say if I'm here and then for like, no way he's gonna take this leg out, okay? I'll be here and then I'll reach this arm. I can reach this one here. But then I, can, I need to do different things. Okay, I need to stand up. Take his leg out and then start like working in a different way, okay? And from here, you can do the, the scrambles that we learned before, you know, start grabbing my ID and take his back, right? So you have different options, okay? But if you really want to side mesh, you need to have that sleeve, okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three.